All right, guys, today we're going to talk about our special cases, and we're trying to figure out how many solutions each equation has. We have three different types of special solution, special cases. Um, and we're going to talk about each of the three different types. First, we're going to start with this guy, the bottom. Okay, so we are going to get the x by itself, just like we've done before. On the left-hand side, I cannot distribute and I don't have any like terms, so we're going to leave that alone. On the right-hand side, I have a negative 4x and a 5x, which are like terms because they both have a variable, so we're going to combine them together. So on the left, I still have 2x and 1, and then on the right, 5x's and I take 4 away gives me 1x and 1. Now I want to get all the letters to one side and all of the numbers on the other side. It's easier to move letters first. Oops, a T. Okay, so that's my suggestion. Move the letters together first. So on this side, I have a positive X. I want to get rid of my positive x over here, so I'm going to take away x from that side of my equal sign, leaving just the 1. Well, if I take 1x away from this side of my equal sign, I also have to take 1x away from here. I need to take it away from its like term, so my 2x, so I'm going to take 1x away. 2 minus 1 is 1x, and I still have my 1. Okay, we're almost there. Now we need to get the variable by itself, so it has an additional 1 over on this side, so we're going to do the opposite and subtract 1 to make it go away. And we also subtract 1 over here. 1 minus 1 is 0, and our answer is 0. So this is a one solution special case. S-O-L U heavens one solution. Um, this is what we're used to doing, and these are the problems that we've been solving. What that means is if I take this number and only this number, and I plug it in here, so if I have 2 times 0 plus 1, and I plug my 0 everywhere I see my x on this side, 5 times 0 plus 1 minus 4 times 0, Okay, then that means 2 times 0 is 0, and then I'm left with my 1. And over here, 5 times 0 is 0, negative 4 times 0 is 0, so I'm just left with my 1. So my left-hand side equals 1 when my x is 0, and my right-hand side equals 1 when my x is 0. 1 equals 1, so it is the solution to this equation. It makes the left side equal to the right side. So that is a one solution, and again, something we're familiar with. Now we have these other types of solutions. We have two different ones. So we're going to look and solve this and then see what happens, and then we're going to classify it. So we're going to give it a name. On this guy, remember our first step is we're going to distribute this 2 to the x and the 2 to the negative 1. Um, over here I've got some like terms. I have a positive 2 and a negative 4. So I'm going to combine those guys as well. I keep my 2x, and then positive 2 minus 4 is negative 2, or minus 2. Remember, negatives and minuses are the same thing. Over here, we're going to distribute, so multiply. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Again, it's helpful to move the letters first. So I'm going to get rid of the 2x on this side by doing the opposite. Subtract 2x. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other and I have to combine it with its like term. So when I take my two x's away over here, then I'm left with just my negative two. On this side, they actually go away as well. Notice I'm not going to write down zero x, because that will be confusing to us. So I just bring down my negative two. I don't have any more letters, so this is definitely not a one solution. When the left side 100% equals the right side, this is called an infinite. I-N-F-I-N-I-T-E solution. S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N. Struggling spelling that word. Okay, so when the left side and the right side are equal 100%, it's an infinite solution, and your letter goes away. So this one has, ooh, write it in green. 
no letter. It's L E T T E R. Sorry about my spelling, guys. I am struggling. Okay, no letter. Okay, so what that means is that you could pick any number to replace your x value, and as long as you put the same number in the left side and the right side, they will always equal each other. It's kind of cool. Okay, then let's look at this case. I'm going to draw my line. The left-hand side. Oh, I've got some like terms. I love like terms. I got 3x and negative 2x's. If I have 3x and I take 2x's away, I'm left over with 1x. And I still have my 1 equals x plus 5. Okay, so now I want to get my letters together first. So I'm going to subtract, do the opposite of this pause of x to make it go away, leaving just my 5. And then I need to subtract x from its like term. Oh, that's this guy. x, take away x, is gone, and I bring down my 1. Well, 1 does not equal 5, not equal 5, so this is called a no solution. And this type of problem, it doesn't matter what number you pick for the variable, as long as you put the same number in each time, the left side will never equal the right side. So this is a no solution and notice we also have no letter. So when we have our two special cases, they both don't have a letter in the end when you're solving. And the infinite solution, the left side and the right side are the same. So right, same, equals same. On the no solution, they're both different. Different does not equal different. And then on the one solution, you have one letter. Okay, let's do a few more examples together. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I just wanted to do a few more examples with you. This is on page 100, if you wanted to follow along. Um, so this guy, we're trying to get the variables on the same side. I don't have any like terms, so I'm just going to move my variables together first. It doesn't really matter, but sometimes students get confused. Next time I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I subtract my 2x and I subtract my 2x. And now um, my x's are both gone. So I have 1 equals 3. Well, 1 doesn't equal 3, so this is a no solution. If you get a 1 solution, we want to know what the answer is. If it's a no solution or an infinite, you just write that. Okay, let's look at 14. On 14, I'm going to combine my like terms. On the left-hand side, I have 1x and 3x makes 4x's, and on the right, negative 5 and 9 make 4x's. Okay, I still have my plus 9 on the left, and I still have my plus 9 on the right. This time I'm going to get my numbers together. So I'm going to minus 9 and minus 9. Notice that they go away. So I've got 4x equal 4x. So here, I know that 4x is equal to 4x. So if they are equal, this is an infinite solution. A lot of students see that the number has an x and the number has an x and it freaks them out. But as long as the left side and the right side are equal, then it's a infinite solution. Like you could have even stopped here. Notice I have 4x plus 9 equals 4x plus 9. They're equal. On number 15, oh sorry, I don't have to move my paper. Let's try this one. Okay, um, let's move our numbers first. So we're going to add 2 and add 2. 8 and 2 make 10. I still have my 9x and my 11x. Okay, now I need to get my numbers together, or my letters together, because my number is all alone. So I'm going to do the opposite of add 11x, which is minus 11x. And we have 10 equals 9 minus 11 is negative 2x's. Then we're going to divide each side by negative 2. And x equals negative 5. So this is a 1 solution because I ended up with 1 letter and 1 number. 1 solution. Okay, let's look at 16. It's our last example. 
We're going to combine our like terms. 7x minus 9x is negative 2x minus 2. Hold on. Okay, um, and then on the right-hand side, we have negative 2x plus 2. So we could stop here. If you see that we have negative 2x minus 2 equals negative 2x. Oh, no, we can't stop here. Notice that my sign is different. It tricked you. Okay, so let's keep going. We're going to add 2x to each side. Notice that my 2x's go away. And now I have negative 2 equals positive 2. Those aren't the same. This is a no solution. Okay, if you have any more questions, let your teacher know. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.